Hello everyone. Welcome to a time of children and worship this morning. This is the worship center. And in this place, we have all the time that we need. So we can walk more slowly. We can talk more quietly because someone might be talking with God and we wouldn't want to disturb them. This is our special place to be with God. Wherever you are right now is your special place to be with God. In this place, we sing to God. We listen to God. We pray to God. We hear stories from God. As we gather for worship, we greet one another with our greetings. So let's greet one another now. The Lord be with you and also with you. One of the ways that we can talk to God is by singing. So let's sing together, God is so good, because God is so good. Let's sing together. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. God's so good to me. God loves me so. God loves me so. God loves me so. God's so good to me. Now it's time to hear one of God's stories. And God asks us to become quiet inside so that we can hear God speaking to us. So let's sing the words that God says to us in Psalm 46. Be still and know that I am God. Let's sing together. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Now we're ready to hear one of God's stories. The story of the boy Jesus in the temple. Once, every year, the people of God go up to Jerusalem to celebrate the feast of the Passover, to remember how God led them through the waters to freedom. This year, Mary and Joseph and Jesus were so happy because Jesus was old enough to go to the temple all by himself. Jesus went to the temple to talk with God and to hear the great teachers tell the stories of God. Then he went to eat the feast of the Passover with family and friends. After Passover, everyone started home When evening came, Mary and Joseph went to Jesus' friends to get Jesus, but no one had seen him. They began looking for him. They looked everywhere. At last, they found Jesus at the temple. Mary said, where have you been? We have looked everywhere for you. We were so worried. Jesus was surprised. Why did you not look? Why did you look everywhere for me? Didn't you know that I would be in my father's house? They didn't understand, but they went home together.
and the boy, Jesus, grew to be a man. He grew taller and stronger. He grew in wisdom and love, and he was loved by God and loved by people. I'd love to wonder about this story that we just heard with you. I wonder how Jesus felt when he was finally old enough to go to the temple all by himself. I wonder how Mary and Joseph felt when they could not find Jesus. I wonder why Jesus was surprised when his parents didn't know where he was. I wonder what Jesus meant when he called this his father's house. And I wonder, what do you wonder about this story? You can pause the video and wonder together with your family before continuing on. The story that we just heard is in the Bible, so let's read it from the Bible together. And as we read it, we light our Christ candle to remind us that Christ is with us as we hear the word of God. You can grab your Bible and read along with me if you'd like. We're going to be in the Gospel of Luke today. That's in the New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are the four Gospel writers that write about the life and ministry of Jesus. So we're in the book of Luke today. We're in the second chapter. That's the big number two in the book of Luke. And we're going to start at verse 41. That's the little number 41. So listen for the word of the Lord. Every year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. When Jesus was 12 years old, they went up to the feast according to the custom. After the feast was over, while his parents were returning home, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but they were unaware of it. Thinking he was in their company, they traveled on for a day. Then they began looking for him among their relatives and friends. When they did not find him, they went back to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple courts, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. Everyone who heard him was amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. His mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us like this? Your father and I have been anxiously searching for you. Why were you searching for me? He asked. Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he was saying to them. Then he went down to Nazareth with them and was obedient to them. But his mother treasured all these things in her heart. And Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and people. Friends, this is the word of the Lord, and we all say, thanks be to God. Now it's time to pray to God. I will begin the prayer, and I'll leave some space for you maybe to name people or places or things that you want to lift up in prayer to God. So let's pray together. Dear God, we thank you for coming to find us, for coming to us even when we don't know that you are with us. Thank you for being with us when we are happy, when we are sad, when we're excited, when we're scared. You're with us all the time, Lord. We pray today for those who need your special care. We pray for those who are sick, for those who are hurting, for those who are scared, for those who are lonely, for those who are happy. We pray for our families, for our friends, and Lord, we pray for those that we don't even know, but you know them, Lord, and you know what their needs are. God, we thank you for this life, for your love. In your son's name we pray. Amen. 
Now I'm going to change the light. Look, now the light is all in one place, but I'm going to change the light so that it can be in many places all at the same time. And now it's time for our benediction, our way of saying goodbye to one another and giving each other a blessing. So I'll give you a blessing and then you can pause the video and bless those that you're worshiping with this morning. Friends, may the Lord bless you and keep you. And now it's time for our sending song, our reminder that God sends us from wherever we are out with God's peace. So let's sing together. Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Go in peace. Thanks for worshiping with me this morning. Have a wonderful week.